think so if you know anything about uh, hip hop, you know that the bigger posse wins. So this is like the whole front row. The whole front row. Whoop, whoop. Front row. So now I got Tom from Rap Genius. All right, thank you so much. It's great to be here. Again, I'm Tom, one of the co-founders of Rap Genius. Got the other two co-founders in the house right here. Give it up. <laughs> and a bunch of the other Rap Genius family members we got back there. We got up here. We got over here. It's great. For those of you guys who don't know, Rap Genius is the Internet Talmud. So what is the Internet Talmud? Well, but once upon a time, there's this thing called the Torah. Right? You guys feel me? You know about the Torah? Give it up for the Torah! Come on, let yourselves clap! Let yourselves clap! The Torah came out, and everyone knew it was incredibly important, but no one knew what it meant. And so the Talmud came out next and explained the Torah to everyone, so everyone could understand what it means. And that's what Rap Genius does for all of text. So whether it's a song, or a poem, or you're reading The Great Gatsby, or you're trying to understand a Supreme Court opinion, you go to Rap Genius, and it will break it down for you line by line. So the Talmud explains the Torah, and Rap Genius explains everything on the internet. And that's why in rabbinical circles, the Talmud is often referred to as Rap Genius 1.0. <laughs> So Rap Genius is a great website. I love it. One of my favorites. It's got about 40 million unique visitors a month, about 15, excuse me, about 17 million dollars in VC funding, but it wasn't always this great. In fact, the first version of Rap Genius was really bad. It sucked. And I'm glad it sucked. It was important it sucked because in its sucking, it taught me a very important secret. The secret to how to build things uh, on the internet and in general in the world. And that secret is worse is better. Worse is better. So what do I mean by worse is better? Okay, so let me see if I can figure out how. So think of the worst thing you can imagine, ever. That's the best thing you're thinking of right now. <laughs> you guys feel me? You feel me? So I just concentrate on the shittiest worst thing. That's the best thing. Okay, and now just to really hammer the point home, what I want you guys to do is I'm gonna count to three, and then I want you to yell out the shittiest thing you can imagine. And that's going to be the best thing that you can actually imagine. I'm going to snap it, okay? So I'm going to count, I'm going to start the snap, and I'm going to repeat the prompt for the purposes of the people watching. So, okay. All right, on the count of three, yell the shittiest thing you can imagine. One, two, three! That was amazing. That was what up? Good. That was amazing. That was amazing. So yeah, worse is better is the shittiest thing is the best thing. Yell the shittiest thing you can, and you're yelling. Uh, the best thing. So, thank you. That is worse, uh, is better. Now, we have a little extra time, so <laughs> let's talk, let's switch gears a little bit. Let's switch gears a little bit and talk about something I really like. Let's talk about asphalt. So, here's something you might not know about asphalt. Asphalt actually ruined some of the greatest pieces of art, some of the greatest paintings ever created. You see, in the 19th century, there was this hipster meme of covering <laughs> paintings with a glaze of asphalt to kind of decorate them. But what the hipsters of the day didn't realize was that this actually corroded the painting and ruined the painting. So some of the greatest paintings you've ever heard of, for example, The Raft of the Medusa, you guys know that one? Give it up for Raft of the Medusa. <laughs> ruined, ruined because of asphalt. And I learned this actually uh, earlier today on the Wikipedia page for asphalt. <laughs> this is a sick page on the internet. This is the best resource about asphalt ever created by humans. It has the history of asphalt, the history of the word asphalt, history of the uses of asphalt, asphalt's role in petroleum production. Everything you would want to know about asphalt uh, is on this page. The page is so big and filled with information. How do you even get this screenshot? Like, you have to use a special tool, because it's, you know, how would you guys do this? Do you guys even know how to? Now, it wasn't always this way, though. Here is the first version of the Wikipedia page on asphalt from 2001. Asphalt is material used for road coverings. Checks out, right? <laughs> That's true. Not very useful though. Everyone knows that. It sucks. This is worse is better. No one could have ever thought that this was a great version of the Wikipedia article uh, for asphalt. No one could ever thought it was a good idea to put together an article about asphalt that was one sentence everyone knows about. But you've got to get the ball rolling and that is the idea. Uh, worse is better because you see the best way to have good ideas and in fact the only way to have good ideas is to have bad ideas if you try to write the whole wikipedia article from asphalt uh, from whole cloth just sit down and type out the whole thing with all the art stuff you know and everything in it uh, it'd be impossible you'd give up you'd fail and you wouldn't be able to do it and so that's why you have to get the ball rolling just like c danny did that was that first user on wikipedia 
Uh, you get the ball rolling, you get you know something out there, and people say, anyone can improve this. Anyone can make a better version of this. And then that's what happened with Wikipedia. It's a great thing. So the best way to have good ideas is to get bad ideas and put those bad ideas out there. And of course, this is what we did with Rap Genius. So this is, uh, these are the first three commits for Rap Genius. So do you guys know what commits are? It's like a computer, whatever. Okay, so these are the first three commits for Rap Genius. So this is the first one. Whenever you start a software project, you gotta do first commit as the first commit message. It's a huge meme. But as you can see, August 19th, 2009, about 12.30 in the afternoon, Rap Genius was created, or was started, and uh, then a little Cameron reference here for the second one. And then Rap Genius was finished for version one, uh, 622 the same day. So it took about six hours to build the first version of Rap Genius. And back then I was not good at programming. I didn't even know how you put an exclamation point in a git commit message. I still don't know how you do that. It always has the slack. You guys feel me? Who knows how to put an exclamation point in a git commit message? Raise your hand. We got a couple of Rap Genius engineers back here. Whatever. So the first version, it sucked, and it was happened in six hours, but it was, it was the minimal version one. And why did it suck? Well, the implementation was horrible, but most of all, the functionality uh, was horrible. You couldn't create annotations. That's a big part of Rap Genius. Uh, there's this whole crowdsourcing thing going on, but forget crowdsourcing, you couldn't sign up, you couldn't create annotations. All the annotations were added by me, hard-coded in the code. This is the first Rails migration for Rap Genius. Uh, you can see I'm adding a little snippet of uh, this uh, brilliant Cameron song. And I, uh, I just have the annotation just stuck right in there. There's no way to add them. They're just hard-coded in there uh, by me. And if you're a Rails uh, program, you recognize a great down migration. Song dot delete all. Just get rid of all the songs. So this was the first migration. Uh, and the feature functionality was very simple and minimal. Uh, and here, let's show you the first version of Rap Genius. This is the first version of Rap Genius. Come on! <laughs> Woo! So this is, uh, so we've got, it was called Rap Exegesis at the time. Now what I want you guys to understand is this is 2009, right? And that is Helvetica Ultralight. So iOS 7, everyone's like, oh, iOS 7 invented Helvetica Ultralight. I invented Helvetica Ultralight <laughs> in 2009, Rap Exegesis. So it's a very simple site. Uh, the main piece of functionality, one thing you can do is you click the logo and that takes you to the homepage. But the real thing you want to do is you click into the Cameron song. Uh, and here's the functionality, and just like, wait, let's just, let, let's just say it for this moment. It's like, this is the song, it's just this little fragment, okay, it sucks, but the core idea is there. You can click the lyric, and it will tell you what is going on, right? So it's a pretty good website. It says Cameron saying. In, yeah. our, in our guidelines, it says, never say rapper X is saying. Just say what they're saying. It's true. This is written by Mabu, who also wrote the guy. I fucked so. up. I it's totally all, it's all fucked. So, but the point is, we were breaking down lyrics since day one. The core idea is there. You know, Cameron says, "Not toes or NC." When I say hammer time, he's talking about his gun. The hammer on his gun is breaking down text from the beginning. And honestly, looking at this, what's even changed? This is basically the website. You click, and the whole thing comes up. It took six hours, um, and so that's the first version of uh, of Rap Genius. So worse is better. Start. Don't try to have the perfect thing, just get the ball rolling and iterate on it. Now, that's one reason worse is better. Another reason worse is better is because you can't do the perfect thing now, both because it'll prevent you from doing anything because you just get anxiety of influence and stop, but you can't do it also because you don't know what the perfect thing is. So here's an example of me fucking up with worse is better in the early version of Rap Genius. I thought it would be a good idea to add this confidence attribute to the uh, annotation. <laughs> So you'd be able to say, okay, Mopo or whoever wrote this, this has high level of confidence that Cameron is referring to his, his gun or whatever. And this was something I thought to do, uh, and this was idiotic because there were a ton of things I needed to do to make Rap Genius good, but this was not one of them. This was a dumb thing to spend my time on. I had no idea what was the right thing to spend my time on. So here's another example. Uh, this is a current example. This is a screenshot of our existing code today. Uh, if you guys are, Andrew feels this. I got Andrew laughing in the back. Right? So this is from our annotations controller. And this is the update action on the annotations controller. So this is the code that gets run whenever you edit and save an annotation. And so you see this comment here. I wrote to do conflict resolution. And the reason I wrote this was because at the time I implemented this, I knew that I had done a bad job. I had done a worse is better job because I didn't think about conflict resolution. And so what that means is if two people are trying to edit the same annotation at the same time, they'll inadvertently clobber one another. Conflict resolution doesn't, it doesn't exist. They'll clobber one another. It sucks. Worse is better. I put this comment in knowing that and thinking, okay, well, we'll have to fix this pretty soon. So I'll put the comment in. Four years later, comment's still there. Who cares? It's not a problem. I thought it was going to be a problem. 
but I had no idea because you can't know what the problems are going to be. You can't know what the features should be. So just do the worst possible uh, shittiest thing. So <laughs> another way to think about this is you will never be dumber than you are right now. You guys are all the dumbest you'll ever be. This is actually kind of inspiring. Give it up for never being dumber than right now. Yeah. You're the dumbest you'll ever be. Literally, the dumbest they'll ever be. Um, so it's kind of inspiring. Uh, another surprising fact, I want everyone to look to the left. Now I want everyone to look to the right. Both of the people you just looked at are the dumbest they'll ever be. <laughs> it's incredible. You are the dumbest you will ever be. And so that is why you shouldn't try to make all these decisions and build this beautiful thing. Postpone the decisions to when you're smarter. You're dumb now. Don't make any decisions. Don't do anything. Just do the shittiest possible thing. So this is an interesting example. This is Heroku's Ugly Secret. You guys know about Heroku's Ugly Secret? Give it up for secrets? Come on. What? So this was something we did, written by James Summers right here, which was uh, our expose on Heroku's routing algorithm. Uh, so we broke this big story where Heroku's routing algorithm wasn't working as advertised. And you couldn't figure this out with their tools. It was a big scandal. It was a big secret. Uh, it resulted in Heroku giving millions of dollars in refunds. We got 150 k It was great. And so Heroku's ugly secret. We put this thing out. And now people come up to me, you know, conferences and trade shows or whatever, and they say, Tom, What's the deal? Like, surely now you've left Heroku, right? Knowing everything you know about these guys and this whole thing, how could you possibly be on Heroku? We're still on Heroku. Why? Because worse is better. This is another application of worse is better. Think about this. Not only will you not know the important things, you won't know, you know, what is not even important at all. So like, for example, the Heroku thing, we know the important things in hosting. We could build our own infrastructure in AWS, but it's not important. You don't need a sick AWS setup to have a great website. You're not gonna get an award for having a great web host. So the other part about Worse is Better is just think, okay, I'm just gonna focus on what truly matters and web hosting is not one of them. So we're down to go Worse is Better. Heroku is Worse is Better. Sorry, Heroku, uh, but that's what we're doing. So uh, another side of, of Worse is Better. Now, this is Worse is Better in action. This is a, a recent application of Worse is Better. This is what I like to call the Great Schism you're seeing right here. This is Rap Genius broken up into four channels, as we call them. You've got Rap Genius, you've got Poetry Genius, you've got Rock Genius, and you've got News Genius. And this was a huge feature because this was us saying, how are we going to take this platform that works so well for lyrics and apply it to all types of text? And this was an incredibly big feature, and this was something that we talked to death. We talked about it for two years. I remember we were in Y Combinator. We'd be leaving Y Combinator. We'd be screaming at each other in the Rap Genius Audi. We'd get back to the Rap Genius dinner table. We'd be screaming at each other at the Rap Genius dinner table. Huge arguments for two years. And the reason we argued was because we didn't understand worse is better. We were thinking, how can we get this whole big, enormous feature out there in one go? And that is not a good way to do it. So what we actually did when we figured out what worse is better meant was we did the basic thing. We released these four big channels. And that's it. And there was a ton of stuff, and there is still a ton of stuff that's fucked up on the site now. Here's some examples. So up at the top, you can see T.S. Eliot, The Wasteland, produced by Ezra Pound. <laughs> what the fuck? It's not produced by Ezra Pound. You know, that's a field that's uh, taken from music fields. So like producer is a field you might want to have on a track. You don't have the same thing on music. And so here's Max Reed, uh, deputy editor of Gawker, helpfully pointing out uh, that Ezra Pound didn't, in fact, uh, produced the wasteland, and it's and dumb to say it did. So thank you, Max Reed. Uh, big ups for that. Uh, there are some other dumb things going on the site right now. So for example, uh, The Great Gatsby is an album. The Great Gatsby isn't an album, right? Okay. So we got Abraham Lincoln, the Gettysburg Address lyrics. <laughs> Very dumb. Thank you, Max Reed. Thank you all of Max Reed's work. This is all intentional. We did this because it allowed us to release the core feature. And now it turns out we're going to fix all this, a lot, bunch of this other stuff. Turns out a lot of this stuff uh, doesn't matter. So release the core feature. Now this is the aftermath of worse is better because you can't just do worse and say, fuck it. You actually do have to do some stuff. But the point is you get it out there, you get embarrassed, and then you go back and you make this huge to-do list. Uh, and some of these are checked, which is nice. So we've done some of this stuff. We're going to go back and fix it. Um, but you know, you don't want to stress this at the beginning. You just want to get it out there. So the other thing about worse is better. Come on, this is a pretty meme slide for a presentation like this. Like big, big. So the other thing about worse is better is that it enables you to build big features. Uh, because you know, if you are doing not worse is better, which is what we did when we were thinking about channels, you won't do anything. And it's not like you won't do anything. 
It's you just won't do the big scary thing, but you'll do some stuff. You like your site, you want to program it. So what you will build is you will build small features. If you are trying to be a perfectionist and only release things that are perfect, you will end up spending a ton of time on stuff that doesn't matter. You will build small features. And it's very tempting because, you know, we are all perfectionists. We're all thinking, ah, I've got the code in my head, got the idea, I just want to smooth over this little rough edge, I'll score a quick win, I can see it all, it's going to be perfect, it's going to be great. Resist that temptation. If you build small features, you can do that forever and not have a big impact on the product. So what we like to say is if you can IPO as Rap Genius without building this feature, you shouldn't be doing it. And so I want all you guys to think about, are you working on big features or not? Like seriously, think about it. Because even at Rap Genius, thinking about works is better. We occasionally get distracted and you can't build small features. Life is too short. So worse is better allows you to take the first steps to building big features, which is the only uh, important thing. So now what you guys might be thinking is duh. You might be thinking, okay, Tom, uh, I've heard this before. You know, you're just taking this age old idea of release and iterate and sexifying the shit out of it with worse is better. <laughs> and I feel you. And so you're basically saying, Tom, we've heard this before. Stop recapitulating this bromide. You know, don't recapitulate this bromide for me. You know? And, uh, and to that, I'd say two things. One, it's important to recapitulate bromides because that's how you drill into your head. So, can we just give it up for recapitulating bromides? Woo! Come on! Come on, you guys bro try it. You guys bro drill it. Bromide. Now, the other thing is, I don't think it's just a pure recapitulation because you need the sexified version. You need to say worse is better, and you need to constantly drill into your head that your goals do the shittiest thing possible. And the reason for that is if you think release and iterate, you won't be able to do it. You're going to fall prey. You're going to fall prey to the desire to perfect because you're all perfectionists out there and you're not going to be able to stick to doing the shittiest thing. And the reason you're not going to be able to stick are manifold. There are a bunch of reasons. Here's one reason. Nope, too far. Here's one reason. Everyone's going to be pissed at you all the time. Look, this is a post in the Rap Genius Forum. Why the Rap Genius Forum suck? Shit is so fucking premium, man. Can't quote right, can't fucking search, there's no fucking type of organization. Shit, the most basic forums offer that shit for free. So this is a user on the site, and he's yelling at me, and this makes me feel nervous and scared and fearful, you know? And uh, this is not the only, this is not it, you know? Here's, here's, here's other stuff. So we got uh, the full presentation, this week. And, uh, you know, no, one back. Stop for later. And we got, look, what kind of black is new forum layout of shit? Lemon, these club forums are the best, but ah, oh, my eyes. You know, and so the worst part about worse is better, and the hardest part about worse is better, is you're gonna do it, and if you do it, you'll see this, and you'll think, they're right. My God, they're right, this is terrible. But you're doing the right thing, because if you spent time perfecting it, you wouldn't be able to start, and you'd work on the wrong things, and you'd work on small stuff. So you have to do it, it's hard. It's not just a bromide recapitulation, even though it's important to recapitulate bromides. Uh, as we discussed. So, that is Worse is Better. This is a gif of me uh, awarding a Rap Genius Genius Grant. Uh, I just want to tell you real quick about the Rap Genius Genius Grant. The Rap Genius Genius Grant is our way of showing love to people who pass our virtually impossible technical interview. And so if you pass, you get a job offer, and you also get $1,000 showered on you in this fashion, no strings attached. And so this is me, it's a reversible gift. You can watch this gift for hours. Um, thank you guys so much, it's so beautiful, you guys are all beautiful. And now